Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Tuesday, April 16th. Um, this is going to be your full length reading on YouTube. Uh, you can watch the 10 minute version on TikTok. Um, also, you guys be aware on YouTube, there's some, some energy, somebody out there pretending that I am leaving comments. It's a phone number and it says, you know, go to this website or go to this phone number. It's not me guys. I don't know how they did that, but just ignore it, report it, delete it, whatever. Um, let's do an angel answers. We're going to call on, um, angel messages. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's do the angels and ancestors. Yeah, you're growing within your current situation. You have divine protection. You have spiritual wisdom, the owl and the crow. This represents spiritual wisdom and protection. Um, so whatever people are trying to do to interfere, it's only serving to enlighten you even more. So you're not concerned and you're not bothered because you are gaining spiritually from these experiences. They want you to continue to be graceful in action and in movement. Um, you know, staying private. Uh, the grasshopper is on here. It's like, you know, being stealth, like the grasshopper. You're, uh, you're, people may see you as unique, you know, different. They don't understand you. They don't understand your energy. They don't understand who you are spiritually, but these are people that are in a low vibration. So they couldn't possibly understand who you are, what you represent or where you get your knowledge. And that's okay. That's where they're saying, you know, just stay private, uh, stay to yourself. Um, but always honor your inner knowing, you know, the downloads, you know, the truth that you receive from the divine, that's truth. And they want you to honor that truth. Okay. Yeah. You're going to enjoy success and happiness. You know, people are going to be jealous of your success and your happiness. People are already triggered by your light. You know, you are a reflection. So you reflect back to people, their wounds and what they need to heal from. And that's their own journey. You know, you're only there to be your true authentic self and how people respond to your light. That's on them. That has nothing to do with you. Uh, they want you to take charge with authority. Don't be afraid to take the lead, you know, to go full steam ahead with whatever God is calling you to do. It's a part of your destiny. So... Yeah, unleashing the wild within. Really tapping into your spiritual gifts because you are a high priestess. Do you see how these cards are flipping? <laughs> you are protected spiritually and you are able to harness mystical power. So when people send you negative energy, you are already equipped to transmute that energy from dark to light. You already know how to do this. So they are actually only elevating you they are creating karma in their own life but they are elevating you because the more that's sent to you the more you transmute the stronger your ability to do this the stronger your abilities in general become yeah hold on a second they said continue to surround yourself with protective energy you know protect your energy through prayer meditation cleansing your energy i use frankincense and myrrh which is for me, the strongest um, of the cleansing agents. Uh, take salt baths, go outside in nature, ground yourself in nature to release negative energy. Uh, they want you to make plans and focus on the plans. You know, don't let anyone get in your head, make you second guess the plans that God's placing in your heart. Yeah, it's time for you to stand your ground. You are a seer. You can see beyond the current situation you not only see for your own life and what you have going on and what is meant to happen for you, but these karmic energies, you're able to see the path they're on and you're able to see what's going to happen. You know, and that's why you stay far away from these energies. You don't want to be hit by the crossfires of their karma. You know, it's coming. You see it. You either see it in visions, dreams, or you get downloads. You're well aware. And that's where you're letting people just hang themselves. You're giving them the rope to do it. Um, again, yeah, you're the oracle. You receive messages from God. I mean, you guys, we got the high priest. We got the oracle. 
um, you stay private in the hermit energy, you retreat because all you want to do is protect your own peace. You're not out here trying to fight dark energies to prove that you're good and they're bad. You don't care. They can believe what they want about themselves. They can believe what they want about you. You are unconcerned and unbothered. You're just living your best life, doing what God's guiding you to do. A seer. I mean, you can't. We have seer, we have oracle, and we have high priestess. I mean, you have a very strong spiritual mission in this lifetime. No mere mortal, no dark energy can interfere with the mission that God has for you. And you know it. That's why you're unbothered. You just like, go ahead and stalk my page. Go ahead and make comments. Go ahead and lie. I don't care. You're not hurting me. You are elevating me. You are making my spiritual gifts stronger. And I'm going to tell you, yesterday a karmic feminine put a message on my page. And when I went to click the icon so that I could block the person under the suggested people to follow, my guides popped up the person that created the fake account. My guide showed me who it was. It's just, they amaze me every day. And then I heard the song Desperado and I just finally looked up the words to Desperado. This is a feminine energy that is desperate. They have never learned to love. They don't love themselves. They're stuck. They are always wanting what other people have, always wanting what they don't have instead of focusing on healing their wounds. This is definitely a karmic feminine. And I would say to you, karmic feminine, go and heal. Everyone deserves real divine love and you will never find real divine love seeking to destroy other people's relationships. You will never find real divine love without loving yourself first. You're not hurting me. You can leave whatever comments you want, but I know who you are. My guides showed me who you are. So be prepared because a tower is coming for you. This tower is because God loves you. God wants you to heal. God is going to destroy everything in your reality because he wants you to heal and be a better person. You're not walking in light. You know, projecting a false persona that you are religious, you're not walking in light. You're not. Yeah, they want you to continue to shift your perception. Shift the way you see these dark energies. You know, they're wounded. They're spiritually handicapped. They're like infants, toddlers. They're not capable of seeing the truth because they're stuck in a delusion. They're stuck in the 3D. They've been deceived by the devil. They just have. Uh, let's get some advice for you guys. Truth and only truth for the collective. Sorry, I had to address the karmic feminine. Jealousy is an evil thing. Jealousy and envy is... It's just, it's a road to nowhere. A road to perdition is what it's a road to. What advice do you have for the collective, please? They want you to dream big. Dream big. Dream with your heart. What does your heart want? And dream big. Spend time on you, balancing yourself out, getting grounded, doing what makes you happy, loving yourself, because you deserve to be in this love energy. You deserve to love you and you deserve to call in people into your reality that will love you as much as you love you. Um, yeah, what does your heart want? They're going back to the dream big. What does your heart want? Uh, be free to manifest your heart's desires. Be specific on what you want your manifestation to look like, okay? Your bright energy color uplifts you. Your aura is so colorful. Your aura in itself benefits the world because it's so high vibrational. It's so loving, it's so nurturing. And, you know, people have learned the hard way that when you have pulled your energy back, um, the absence of your energy, it's so detrimental to these people because without your bright energy, without the vibration of love that you emanate, these people are stuck in darkness. They're stuck in their own energy, which is very nasty, a little vibrational. Yeah, they said continue to manifest. Believe in your power to manifest. You are your greatest gift. Your life's journey is your masterpiece. This tells me your experiences from the past is a masterpiece because whether you write it, whether you speak it, whatever way God asks you to deliver what you've experienced, it is a catalyst for the growth of other people. And so you're meant to share it. 
enjoy where you are for soon you will be somewhere else you're being guided you're being guided to move away from one place to another and go to another or this is an energetic uh movement okay this if you are relocating this is bringing in your justice card number 29 reduces to an 11. so you leaving one place whether it's energetically or physically brings in your justice it brings an alignment for you past life emotion lives in you you're expressing more and it is releasing you're letting go of past life past life karmic debt they want you to trust in your new path because all will work out for you because you're in alignment you're coming into alignment with god and with your higher self which is beautiful Yep, feeling and releasing. Release all you've accumulated. It's time to let go of those past karmic cycles. It doesn't serve you any longer. Let's just get some. Oh, I think I already did this deck last reading, so let's do a different deck. What do we need to do? Okay, let's do this deck. All right, energy for the collective. Energy for the collective. Truth and the truth. I think I only have, uh, I'm only going to allow for maybe one more reading this week and then I'm going to block the rest of the week. So if you guys uh, are interested in scheduling, make sure you do sooner than later. Uh, yeah, you're being guided on your sacred journey. And on this path, which is the path to abundance, card number 26, your fate and destiny, um, you're limitless because you are number two in alignment. You can create anything. Thank you. Spirit. Yeah, world within worlds. You're learning to exist in this earthly realm, but operate in the 5D. You can see clearly what's important. And it's not the 3D riches. It's not how popular you are, how many friends you are, have, uh, what possessions you own. You understand on a spiritual level what's most important. And yes, God will bless you with all of those things but that's not a priority for you. Yeah, you're just walking in your truth, being your true authentic self, letting God guide you. Yeah, they said be still so that you can hear the messages. Big changes are happening in your life. Uh, mirrored souls, yeah. Like I said, you are, um, you are a person that's able to mirror back to others, you know, their wounds because you're a healer. But you're also calling into your reality people that are like-minded that will be a reflection of you on an energetic level. Yeah. It's God that strengthens you. Card number 30. This is the Holy Trinity. This is divine intervention. This is God strengthening you because you have learned to surrender. To surrender everything. Yep, and you've been patient. You've been patient and you haven't lost hope and you've finally released and let go. You've opened yourself up to your destiny, which is a celestial teacher to teach and guide other people. You know, take what resonates, you know. It doesn't matter if you're in a field where you are a healer. You know, you could work at a gas station and still be a healer. God could still bring people into your reality that needs your counsel. So if you work for a gas station, God's going to bring people into that gas station to come into contact with you so that you can give words of wisdom to them to help guide them on their path. Even if you're only in contact with them for a few minutes, God will use you because it's a part of your destiny. So yeah, you don't have to worry. Just let go and let God, let God take the wheel. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get a couple of the Kipper for some reason. I want to do the Kipper for the collective. Any advice for the collective? Advice for the collective, please. Wow, you guys, if you've been manifesting a new home, financial stability and security, that's here. A home and great fortune. You know, your alignment card number 20 is putting you in the energy to call in abundance in your life. Abundance in all forms, abundance in love. It's attached to your spiritual gift. This is also a gift the divine is bringing to you. Um, you might be seeing triple eights at this time as well. Yeah, we see you're calling in a true divine partner, whether it's a man or a woman. We have mature man here, which is the emperor energy, but it's just energy. It could be a man or a woman, high vibrational. 
divine masculine or divine feminine energy here. Yeah, distant horizon. Could be in the near future. You will embrace this new beginning with this person. You know, and even if you're not looking for love, although it could be uh, love because we have the marriage card here, this can also be a contract in business, career, finance, someone that's going to be honorable, a true leader, high vibrational. Yeah, that's the change that's occurring. Alignment. You are this privileged lady, whether you're a man or a woman. You're being elevated. Um, not only on a spiritual level, but your reputation. If somebody targeted your reputation, they're going to look so foolish because God is making sure that you are elevated. You're elevated in this life. You have high spiritual ranking. Your reputation is being elevated. Okay? Yeah. People that wanted you to be in despair over who you are, what you do, you're not in despair. You're not. You have released the projection of these people. You are not in despair. That's ending. It's just ending. You have this awakening, this, this rebirth. You've closed out cycles. And um, yeah, wealthy man. This can be you attracting wealth or attracting someone that is wealthy, either in the 5D or in spirit. I mean, 3D or in spiritual realm. Yeah. You know, we have a karmic feminine out here that's a thief. You know, sniffing around in your energies, seeing what they can do to try to destroy your life is not going to work. She's just uh, creating a massive hardships in her life. Trust me on that. Look, this is someone that's acting unconcerned and unbothered, this karmic feminine, but she is in this very dysfunctional home life, home environment, and she's not happy because you're on top. Mature woman, empress energy, whether you're a man or a woman. Her antics did nothing but elevate you. And she's going to be under adjudication. Along with the karmic masculine that she's been working with. You are being elevated. High honor. And bad health and poverty is what this karmic feminine and this karmic masculine have to look forward to. But that's between them and God. This is not a projection of us. It is a projection of their own energy coming back to them. So this is the reading I have for you guys. I love you. I hope you guys have an amazing day and um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.